hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna create a custom uh, a meta human and uh, we're gonna focus on uh, uh, body corrections right uh, this video is uh, gonna be focused only on body for the uh, head mesh we have a lot of videos uh, we have uh, a lot of tutorials so we're just gonna focus on the body and correctives for the body so first of all, let's uh, let's bring back uh, let's bring in our uh, deformations uh, for uh, the body and uh, for the head as well. And uh, let's start with the body and just create this uh, deformation. We called it beast. And on the head, we're gonna do the same, and we're gonna call it beast as well. So let's select our face uh, OBJ, our morphed beast body OBJ, and let's call it beast as well. Okay, let's close and let's save this uh, meshes. So uh, in case anything goes wrong, we don't have to redo everything, right? Uh, now for the body, uh, what uh, we are trying to do, if uh, we open our body skeletal mesh and navigate to post process, uh, we will see that we have uh, this post process here, which applies several corrections, right? Uh, we have uh, head movement, uh, this uh, applies corrections to big bones like uh, upper arm, lower arm, uh, thighs and all that. And we also have pose drivers. So uh, there's uh, a lot uh, going on here. And if you want to disable the correctives, you just uh, uh, select uh, you select our, your uh, uh, this uh, variable here and uh, deselect it. Right? Uh, you set it to false. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, start and uh, let me do one thing. Let me create a duplicate of this uh, of this post process because we are gonna modify it and we need an a backup for it let's save and now let's get started in poser we will uh, load our uh, body and we will add uh, the head as a reference mesh right so i'm gonna disable post process blueprint here and now let's select our morph target and because the morph target has uh, the same name on both meshes we will have for the ability to include the reference mesh in our body so it's going to be a full body bone snapshot uh, let's create here this bone snapshot let's uh, save it and at this point we can proceed uh, with uh, baking our metahuman right so i'm gonna uh, load the bone snapshot, keep the deformation uh, selected, the morph target selected, and update from pose. I'm going to enable it and bake. Uh, these are the default settings. I'm going to uh, stay with the defaults. Okay, our body is uh, completed. And now uh, let's uh, do the same for the head. We will load the same bone snapshot. We'll select our beast uh, morph target, update from pose. And enable it and bake. The same, we're gonna go with defaults. Okay, our uh, head is also baked, and uh, let's go back to a body poser. Let's re add this mesh here, and we will see uh, that uh, if we disable post process, we get a gap uh, and uh, some uh, stuff is happening. That is because our pose doesn't match the default metahuman pose, right? So, uh, 
one thing uh, that uh, we can do, we, we can go uh, to the head poser, save uh, uh, the head uh, pose to a bone snapshot and we will call it head. And we're gonna load it on uh, the body. We will see that uh, something is happening. Uh, I'm gonna show it uh, to you again. We're gonna select the head and we will see that uh, something is happening with the, the hands, right? The pose is changing a little bit. So I'm gonna bake this down. And now uh, we have our new pose uh, in our MetaHuman. Our problem is still not solved because we still get a weird deformation from our pose drivers. But if we disable here pose drivers, let's see. Let's put it this way. If we disable pose drivers, we will see that we don't get any gap, right? So our culprits at this point are the pose drivers and not any other correction that happens in uh, uh, the post-process blueprint, right? Let me reconnect uh, these pose drivers here. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm, actually I'm gonna disable these uh, finger poses, pose drivers, and uh, I'm gonna connect directly to uh, the final pose there, right? So uh, let's go back. Before everything else, let's update neutral, right? Because our neutral pose is changed, let's update it so uh, we have. Actually, let me show you. For these poses, uh, for these pose drivers, we need to have the default, uh, it needs to be at 100, right? Because our pose is uh, changed and it doesn't match our pose uh, drivers, we get. Uh, uh, different values uh, which are not uh, very suitable for what we need, right? So uh, let's uh, get started. Uh, let's update neutral and uh, we're gonna select our post process animation blueprint and click yes. And if uh, we go back in our post process animation blueprint, we will see that now we have. Uh, the default pose it's uh, on all pose drivers at uh, 100 right so now we can move forward we're gonna load our animation uh, post process uh, blueprint and uh, i think it's called cinematic and uh, we're gonna load it with rotations only what does this mean uh we're gonna load every bone it won't uh, add any translation but only rotation so we can uh, uh, quickly fix broken poses right so let's uh, load this up uh, what uh, we have to do in the first place a search in all pose drivers and remove the default uh, pose uh, that's uh, that's created due to floating error so just remove it you have to remove it, otherwise if you save, you will get an error in uh, pose driver when you compile, right? So we're gonna do this and um, we're gonna fix only the upper arm for uh, this uh, video, but uh, you can uh, uh, do uh, legs, feet or whatever you want. You can create any pose here, right? But um, I'm gonna go with the upper arm and uh, we're gonna have to go through all these poses here, right? Uh, actually, I see here we have a naming problem. This comes with the default MetaHuman. In our upper arm uh, pose uh, driver, we have a lower arm naming uh, here. So we're gonna rename this. We're gonna put here upper arm and press OK. Now we fixed it and uh, we can also delete the right side because we're going to do the left side. If you want to do the right side, you're going to delete the uh, left side, right? I'm going to remove this and uh, just uh, load the poses. And uh, let's, you have to fix them now. You have to see how they uh, look and try to fix them so they look better, right?
uh, to fix a pose, you select the bone and you just uh, update uh, pose, right? After you fix it, for example, like this, you right click and update pose. Let's go to the next one. This one looks kind of weird. Uh, let's uh, do some quick uh, fixing here. I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to switch my gizmo to world uh, transform so I can do a little bit uh, easier any correction I have to do here. Right? Kind of like this. Let's uh, update pose. Let's go to the next one. This one looks kind of weird. And maybe we have to do some uh, stuff here. Just a little bit. We, we need to invest a little bit of time in it. We can only do this with the bones. Uh, Because if uh, we do it with morph targets, we're going to complicate a little bit our lives. Let's uh, assume this is uh, okay. Update pose, and we need to move to the next uh, pose this is the Elon Musk pose and uh, we're gonna also fix it a little bit just small fixes right don't uh, overdo it just make it look good as uh, easy as possible let's update the pose we're gonna go with uh, the next one this looks fine This also looks fine. Looks fine. This also looks fine. This one is broken. Uh, by default, uh, this comes like this with the default meta human. So I'm just gonna remove it. If you want to uh, re add it and do your stuff, uh, you're free to do it. And uh, let's. Uh, go with uh, the next one you just have to use correctives for this don't uh, use the main bones You're free to rotate, use translation, it's up to you how you do it. Just make it look good. Let's update this as well. And now uh, that uh, we fixed our upper arm uh, poses in our pose drivers, let's mirror this bone. And now we have the same for the right side, right? So we don't have to do it twice. right okay uh, the next step is to generate the data so we can get our uh, post drivers uh, saved and uh, implemented in our uh, post process so we're going to generate the data we're going to select our cinematic post process press ok save And uh, now uh, we are good to go, right? Let's reset, disable our post-process blueprint, and uh, we will see if we don't get any more any gap, and we have a fully functional uh, uh, metahuman. Uh, what uh, we want to do now is uh, bring uh, those uh, uh, finger uh, post drivers we just removed. We have to bring the, those back, and uh, let's quickly do it. 
Okay. Not find. Let me select post process. Let's open the original. This is the backup I created initially. Okay, we have both of them open. Let's uh, go to animation graph and select our finger pose drivers. And uh, let's put them back in. and compile at this point i think we can uh, go ahead and save everything uh, we have everything uh, created and in place and uh, let's test it out with a control rig uh, with a sequence sorry a level sequence and uh, let's add our meta human into the world Okay, add actor and now we have our metahuman. We can also fix this scene here. Uh, let's quickly do it since we're still uh, in with mesh morpher open. Just select the head first, the body second and press OK. Okay, and uh, let's get back. Now the sim is over, and you can uh, test your body and uh, do uh, whatever you want to do with it, right? So, uh, this is it, guys, for uh, this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, uh, workflow uh, how we can fix uh, body correctives for our custom uh, meta humans. And uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and see you around. Bye.